Well, we begin tonight with Dearborn's fire chief accused of driving drunk. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now our cameras were rolling when Chief Joseph Murray exited the Dearborn Heights police station. Investigators say that he was speeding and swerving along Telegraph Road early this morning. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is in Dearborn Heights and shows us why people are split over whether or not he should stay on the job. The Dearborn Fire Chief had almost nothing to say as he left the Dearborn Heights Police Station here today after being locked up for alleged drinking and driving. Is there anything you want to say? No, thank you. Leaving the Dearborn Heights Police Station this afternoon, Dearborn Fire Chief Joseph Murray did not want to talk about his arrest for alleged drunk driving just before 3 a.m. Police confirmed Chief Murray was stopped here at Telegraph and Dartmouth after passing a squad car traveling at about 60 miles an hour in a 45 mile zone. No joke, no, you know, I'm old enough to realize that a DUI is very serious. And uh, you, hey, you could kill somebody in it just like that. Dearborn Heights police say he was weaving on the road and was put through a standard field sobriety test. Then he was taken to the hospital for blood to be drawn, a typical procedure if someone refuses to take a breathalyzer test. Should someone in this position keep their job? Yeah, he can keep his job. He, I mean, he made a mistake. Should he keep his job? No. Can't have a fire chief uh, driving drunk. You know, he's supposed to be a role model to the kids. The chief's 2007 Chevy Silverado was impounded and he was held for nearly 12 hours to detox. In a statement released today, the mayor of Dearborn says, quote, earlier this morning, the administration was notified of an incident involving our fire chief. We are taking this matter seriously. As facts become known, we will take the appropriate course of action. Should our chiefs be held to a higher standard? I think he shouldn't have been driving. Yeah, yeah, he should, he should do his time. You should, you should pay the price. You may learn from it. He didn't kill anybody. We've learned charges could be filed potentially once blood test results come back within a couple of weeks. We've also filed a FOIA request for body camera, dash camera, and police reports related to this incident. From Dearborn Heights, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Okay, Simon, thank you.